Welcome back everyone, Toysius here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look courtesy of my friends over at Playmates Toys, and we're totally checking out the brand new Mega Heat Ray Godzilla. Hey, these uh, mega gargantuan Godzilla figures got light up eyes and a little mini soldier guy, and I love the packaging on it. I mean, it's a big box of a lizard and... Yeah, you know, it's it's huge, as Godzilla should be, right? Legends collide, Godzilla, Kong, two most powerful, yada yada. Can't wait to see the movie. As of making this, I still have not seen it. Giant tail in the box, of course, this shows you attached the tail. Here's the barcode. These should be already in or hitting Walmart stores now, fingers crossed. Also on the cross sell, the Mega Punching Kong, which you don't have to wait for to take a look at because, yeah, he's right here. He too has lights and sounds. Try me, twist body for battle action. He's gonna punch the heck. One thing I'll point out, it's kind of funny. It says blockbuster movie, Godzilla versus, like they've already said like, it's gonna be a blockbuster. Well, hopefully, I mean, I guess it's doing well. So far, the movie just came out. And again, like Godzilla comes with a small little soldier. That's cool. You know, you can eat them and step on them and whatever else. It's fun for kids. I wish they sold like a little baggie full of them. That would be, that'd be cool. Or a, a plastic container, for whatever you want to say. But yeah, this is the Kong. He does all kinds of stuff. Here's the barcode if you need it as well. Mega Heat Ray Godzilla on the bottom. Lights and sounds. This is going to be fun. I'm excited. I'm stoked to see the movie. I just want to see some monkey punching lizard action. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot gargantuan cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Playmates Toys Mega Heat Ray Godzilla and Mega Punching Kong. And here they both are out of the packaging. And yeah, these are some hefty, heavy figures. Exactly what I want to see when seeing Godzilla versus Kong figures. These heavily differentiate from the smaller type series, like the small figures, the medium figures. These are the gargantuan size. And like I said, this is cool. You know, Godzilla comes with two missile firing projectiles, you know, the blue flame and everything else. Godzilla is huge he's long he's huge he kind of reminds me of the jack specific godzilla mold you know just to be quite honest with you and he's got blue light up fins everything else on this guy it's pretty dang cool the sculpt on him is well done if you are that type of person i could see somebody you know customizing it really going to town with paint job and you can see inside his mouth he's got the firing mechanism where the projectile goes he does have lots of screw holes little end points things where they've assembled the figure together it is noticeable in some aspects but when it comes to this the missiles are very cool i mean they're simple it's basic it's what i want to see though in a fun godzilla toy for kids and i love the little army man type guy you know a soldier running I would have liked to have seen more. Give me a whole bag of these things. That's awesome. Over the articulation for old Godzilla. He's got joint segment in the tail. That's where you attach it. He also has legs. These are incredibly, just go easy. They're stuck. He's got foot swivel. No, I wouldn't say rotation. He's also got his arms. Those are on a ball joint, so you get some movement out of him at least. And then his hands will spin. Nothing at the job, but this is where the missile fits in. Simply just attaches just like that, as you can see. And then you push the button right here on the side and you hold it down. That fires the missile. There we go. And then he lights up and roars. And that's, that's some good stuff right there. If you're a kid, if you're going to give this to a kid, or you're a crazy Godzilla fan. See the lights go off. If you're a crazy Godzilla fan, this is for you. The one thing though is the eyes are painted wonky. He's got the Homer Simpson eyes going, you know, when he goes all like <laughs> off to the side. So, I mean, you don't see him when the lights aren't on. It's goofy, but uh, yeah, that's, that's one kind of gripe. With King Kong, now this is cool. He comes with this weapon. It looks like a bone and it looks like a piece of Godzilla's back spine kind of thing. I don't know what happens in the movie. Yeah, we've seen the trailer and everything else, but yeah, it's a good accessory to give to him. It's a soft, rubbery type thing. Also, you get a nice army man. This guy's got the gun. His holster, he's ready to fire it. Stands well. Both of them stand really well. Kong himself. This is a good Kong. This is a lot more on model. Again, talking about like prior figures that we've seen. His jaw move up and down. He's got some nice paint on the teeth and in the mouth. 
and you can put the soldier in his mouth. I think that's pretty cool as well. He has some decent movement. You know, it's not a whole heck of a lot, a lot more in terms of what the range of movement you can do. Arms are on a ball, swivels at the elbow, single jointed hands. The feet will swivel as well. Nothing at the legs, and that's the missed opportunity. But he's got a big Kong butt. He's got the battery cover. He's got the secondary button that they don't advertise on this guy. Because when you twist him, is when he starts to get all red-eyed and growl and everything else. Like he's super mad. He's going mega, right? And then, of course, on the back, you can click this a few times if you want. You get a couple roars. It's fun. I'm glad they included two buttons on like Godzilla. But he holds the weapon nicely. Nice and secure. It looks good. It looks natural. He's got one open hand. And you can really kind of achieve... The trailer scene, you know, he's got it raised above. You can't put it in his other hand. You can kind of fudge it a little bit, but you get the idea. Now I just wish Godzilla could open his mouth and do that. That's a missed opportunity. His mouth does move, but it's only when you push the button to fire the missile. In terms of the scale, these are mega figures. So even talking about Mondo's new Pulgasauri, they're actually bigger than both of him. Same thing with other Bandai, NECA, Playmates figures. These are mega size so they are huge they're really their own scale in terms of what i got in the sense of if you're a godzilla versus kong fan or just a fan of the monsters or you want some monster toys yeah i think these will work out these are a whole heck of a lot better than what they have produced so far i love you playmates but yeah these take the cake in terms of that the paint on them is good could have had a little bit more here and there but for what you're getting, you're getting some electronics, you're getting some actual articulation, stuff that moves, stuff that's relevant. I think that it works really, really nicely for that. And I love the fact that Godzilla has a projectile fire. That's a no-brainer. Kong, he gets all mad. It's cool. It's cool for what it is. If you're not into this sort of thing, no, these are definitely not for you. But I think kids will have a blast. And if you got kids and you're buying yourself like a NECA or something like that, like a Kong or Godzilla on the shelf, get one for the kids. They'll have a bigger toy than you. They'll look all cool. But, you know, you know what's up. You got the better toy anyways. <laughs> these are fun. Put them on your shelf. Fight them. All that good stuff. They're going to go great. Take them with you when you go see Godzilla versus Kong or just sit at home and watch it on HBO Max, which I think is the more ideal situation right now. God, I can't wait to go back to the movie theaters. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about these two figures. Will you be picking them up? Do you already have them? And what do you think? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Godzilla vs. Kong. And hopefully by the time the end of this week, I will have seen it myself. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember when it comes to lizard fighting, monkey fighting, robots fighting, monkey fighting, lizard action. Well, hopefully they just team up because both their mothers are named Martha. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.